Did you know that video games, an industry that's now worth over $150 billion, started from a simple game of tennis on a tiny black and white screen? That's right, folks. The very first video game was a rudimentary simulation of a tennis match, played on a screen no bigger than a postage stamp. This game, named Pong, was designed in the early 70s and was nothing more than two paddles and a small dot bouncing back and forth. At the time, it was seen as a novelty, a bit of fun to pass the time. Little did we know, it was the spark that ignited a cultural revolution. Back then, video games were seen as a passing fad, a fleeting amusement that would soon be forgotten. But Pong, with its simple graphics and addictive gameplay, captured the public's imagination. It was the first game to truly achieve mainstream success, and it paved the way for the video game industry as we know it today. It's hard to believe, isn't it, that a game as simple as Pong could have such a profound impact. But the success of Pong proved that there was a market for video games. It showed that people were willing to spend their hard-earned money on these digital diversions. It demonstrated that video games could be more than just a way to kill time. They could be a form of entertainment, a way to connect with others, and even a way to challenge ourselves. And from there, the video game industry took off. Developers began to experiment with new concepts and technologies, pushing the boundaries of what was possible. Games became more complex, more engaging, and more immersive. They evolved from simple simulations into rich, interactive experiences that could transport players to other worlds. And today, video games are everywhere. They're on our phones, our computers, our televisions. They're a part of our culture, our society, our lives. They've even become a competitive sport, with professional gamers competing in front of millions of viewers around the world. From these humble beginnings, the world of video games has grown into a global phenomenon. In the late 70s and early 80s, video games found their way into public spaces, sparking the birth of arcade culture. These were the golden years of video games, and arcades became the beating heart of this burgeoning culture. Early arcades were like magical caverns, filled to the brim with blinking lights, bleeping sounds, and the unmistakable scent of popcorn and soda. They were hallowed spaces where players could escape the mundane and dive into fantastical worlds of aliens, race cars, and pixelated adventures. But arcades were more than just gaming hubs. They were social spaces that brought people together. Regardless of age or background, anyone could pick up a joystick and become a hero, a race car driver, or a space invader. The arcade was a great equalizer, a place where skills were honed, high scores were coveted, and friendly rivalries were born. This social aspect had a profound impact on the development of video games. Games became more competitive, more engaging, and more communal. They started to reflect the social dynamics of the arcade, fostering a sense of community and shared excitement. Arcades also had a tangible influence on the broader cultural landscape. They were featured in films, songs, and TV shows, further propelling video games into the mainstream. Pinball wizards and joystick jockeys became pop culture icons, and the arcade aesthetic permeated the era's fashion and design. As the decade progressed, technology advanced, and so did the games. They became more complex, more immersive, and more visually stunning. The arcade was the birthplace of many iconic games that are still beloved today, from Pac-Man to Space Invaders to Donkey Kong. This era also saw the birth of the video game industry as we know it today. Companies started to invest in game development, recognizing the potential of this new form of entertainment. This investment set the stage for the industry's future growth, paving the way for the video games we know and love today. The arcade era was a vibrant time for video games, setting the stage for the industry's future growth. It was a period of innovation, 
camaraderie, and cultural shift, a time when video games moved from the fringes to the center of popular culture. As technology evolved, so did video games, making the leap from arcades to living rooms across the world. The rise of home consoles was a game changer, quite literally, in the ever-evolving universe of video gaming. With the advent of these devices, the way we played and perceived video games underwent a dramatic transformation. In the late 70s, when the first home consoles made their appearance, they were an instant hit. The Atari 2600, launched in 1977, was one such example. It brought popular arcade games like Space Invaders and Pac-Man right into our living rooms. The console came with a joystick and a handful of switches, a design that was simple yet captivating. But the console revolution didn't stop there. Fast forward to the 80s and we have the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES, taking the world by storm. The NES introduced us to iconic characters like Mario and Link, who would go on to become staples in the gaming world. These characters and their captivating adventures were now accessible at any time, a shift that ushered in a new era of gaming. The 90s saw the arrival of the Sony PlayStation, a console that was sleek, powerful, and capable of delivering high-quality 3D graphics. Games like Final Fantasy VII, Metal Gear Solid, and Resident Evil transformed the gaming landscape, offering complex narratives and immersive experiences that were previously unimaginable. And let's not forget the Microsoft Xbox, which entered the scene in the early 2000s. It brought us the Halo series, an epic sci-fi adventure that pushed the boundaries of what a console game could be. These consoles, and many others, changed not only the way we played games, but also the way we interacted with them. They allowed us to explore new worlds, face thrilling challenges, and create unforgettable memories, all from the comfort of our own homes. The console revolution gave birth to a new way of gaming, allowing players to enjoy their favorite games from the comfort of their own homes. This revolution was not just about technology, but about bringing people together through shared experiences and a mutual love for gaming. And that, my friends, is the magic of the console revolution. The internet changed the world in many ways, and video games were no exception. As the digital age unfolded, the world witnessed a profound transformation in the realm of video games, the rise of online gaming. This wasn't simply a new trend or a fleeting fad. It was a revolution that would redefine the way we play, perceive, and participate in video games. Imagine the days of old, when gaming was a solitary pursuit or an activity shared with a few friends huddled around a single screen. Now, contrast that with today's dynamic landscape where millions of players from every corner of the globe can engage, interact, and compete in real time. Video games were no longer confined to living rooms or arcades. They had become a global community. This seismic shift had a profound influence on game design. Developers started to create games with a more collaborative focus, encouraging players to team up, compete, and connect with others. They began to design vast, intricate worlds that could be shared and explored by gamers worldwide, fostering a sense of camaraderie and collective adventure. Games like World of Warcraft and League of Legends exemplify this global community ethos, turning solitary players into teammates, rivals, and even friends. The impact of online gaming also extended to player habits. Gaming was no longer just about beating high scores or completing missions. It became about socializing, about forging alliances and rivalries, about immersing oneself in a shared virtual world. Players started spending more time online, not just to play, but to communicate, to strategize, to be part of a larger narrative. Online gaming also gave rise to phenomena like streaming and content creation, transforming players into entertainers and influencers. 
platforms like Twitch and YouTube became the new arenas for gamers to showcase their skills, share their experiences, and build their own communities. Online gaming connected players like never before, creating a global community that continues to thrive today. It's a testament to the power of the internet and the universal appeal of video games, a digital revolution that continues to shape the gaming landscape and redefine the way we play. Video games have always been competitive, but in the 21st century, they became a professional sport. This shift has been nothing short of seismic. As we moved into the new millennium, a phenomenon called esports started to gain traction. Esports, or electronic sports, are video game competitions where players from around the globe compete for prestige and often hefty cash prizes. What started as small local competitions among friends evolved into grand tournaments with millions of spectators. These tournaments are not just small affairs. They fill up entire stadiums, garner multi-million dollar sponsorship deals, and attract players who train as rigorously as any traditional athlete. A key player in this rise has been the game StarCraft. Released in the late 90s, this game's competitive scene grew particularly strong in South Korea, setting the stage for what we now know as modern esports. Following StarCraft, Games like League of Legends, Dota, 2, and Counter-Strike, Global Offensive have taken the baton, each boasting their own league structures, world championships, and millionaire players. These games and their tournaments have changed the way we perceive video games. No longer are they seen as just time wasters or child's play. They are now recognized as a test of skill, strategy, and teamwork. They have become a spectacle, an entertainment industry in its own right. The impact of esports goes beyond just the world of video games. They've influenced pop culture, academia, and even legislation. Universities now offer scholarships for esports, recognizing the skill and dedication it takes to compete at a high level. Countries around the world have started to recognize esports players as professional athletes, granting them visas under the same category. The rise of esports is a testament to the evolution of video games. They have grown from a niche hobby to a mainstream phenomenon, reaching audiences far beyond their initial target. Esports have elevated video games to a whole new level, proving that they're not just a pastime, but a legitimate sport. As we look to the future, we can only expect this trend to continue, with esports becoming even more integrated into our society. Video game culture has come a long way since the days of Pong, but what does the future hold? It's a question that sparks excitement, curiosity, and a hint of uncertainty. The gaming world as we know it is on the brink of transformation. As we look to the horizon, there are three trends that stand out. Virtual reality, augmented reality, and AI-driven games. Virtual reality, or VR, is not a new concept, but it's on the cusp of becoming mainstream in gaming. Imagine stepping into a game, not just through a screen, but in a fully immersive, three-dimensional world. The line between reality and the digital realm blurs, creating experiences that are more immersive and interactive than ever before. With VR, you're not just playing the game, you're living it. Augmented reality, or AR, is another frontier that's set to revolutionize gaming. It's about enhancing our physical world by overlaying digital elements. Pokemon Go gave us a taste of AR's potential, but that was just the beginning. The future could see us turn our living rooms into game levels, or transform our cities into sprawling interactive playgrounds. Then there's the rise of AI-driven games. Artificial intelligence is already an integral part of the gaming industry, but its role is set to grow exponentially. We're talking about games that learn from your playstyle and adapt accordingly, creating a personalized gaming experience like no other. AI could also lead to more realistic non-player characters 
or NPCs, further enhancing the immersive nature of games. But the future isn't just about technology, it's about the evolution of gaming culture. It's about more inclusive, diverse games that reflect the world we live in. It's about games that tell stories, that make us think, that challenge us in new ways. It's about games that are not just a pastime, but a form of art, a mode of expression. As technology continues to evolve, so too will video game culture, promising exciting new developments for gamers around the world. The future of gaming is bright, and we can't wait to see where it takes us. From a simple game of virtual tennis to a global industry worth billions, the evolution of video game culture has been nothing short of remarkable. We've journeyed together through the annals of gaming history, starting with the humble beginnings of arcade culture. Remember those noisy, bustling arcades, filled with the clatter of coins and the blips and bleeps of games like Space Invaders and Pac-Man? These were the proving grounds, the places where we first started to form communities around our shared love of video games. Then came the console revolution, bringing the joy of gaming into our living rooms. No longer were we tied to arcades. We had the freedom to play when we wanted, where we wanted. This was a game changer, quite literally. Games like Super Mario Bros. and The Legend of Zelda paved the way for a new era of home entertainment, creating a new kind of culture around video games. But the world of gaming didn't stop there. The advent of the internet took the gaming community to a whole new level. Now, we weren't just playing with our friends in the same room. We were connecting with people from all over the world, forming alliances, rivalries, and friendships in a virtual world. This was the age of online gaming, a time when multiplayer games like World of Warcraft and League of Legends began to dominate the landscape. And let's not forget about the rise of esports. The idea that someone could make a living playing video games was once a pipe dream. But today, it's a reality for many. Esports has become a legitimate industry with its own stars, its own leagues, and its own passionate fan base. It's a testament to how far video game culture has come. So, what's next for video game culture? That's the million dollar question. As technology continues to advance, the possibilities are endless. Virtual reality, augmented reality, cloud gaming, these are just some of the exciting developments on the horizon. One thing's for sure, the future of video game culture looks bright. Yes, the journey of video game culture has been a thrilling ride, filled with twists and turns, highs and lows. From the simple joy of playing Pong in an arcade to the immersive world of virtual reality, we've come a long way. And yet, in many ways, it feels like we're just getting started. This is more than just a history of video games. It's a history of us, of our communities, our friendships, our shared experiences. It's a story of how a simple form of entertainment has grown into a cultural phenomenon that transcends borders, languages, and generations. As we look to the future, one thing is clear. Video game culture will continue to evolve, surprise, and delight us for years to come.